Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori Sterling and you guys are watching a video on how to, I don't even know like how to go about this. So basically this video is like how to look bad, bad meaning good. This is a super easy way to do it because you're so comfortable, you're in a sweatshirt and this literally takes like minimal time and minimal effort. And I think this is the way to go about it. Like this is how I pretty much always look. Like I always have like a beat face, my hair done, jewelry on, and then a sweatshirt because sweatshirts are so comfortable and I just feel very confident in sweatshirts. Also just wanna thank Jord Watches for sponsoring this video real quick because they provided me with this fire watch. Like look at this. I always make sure I have a watch on because it's a very essential part of having a fire look like this. If you guys are new to my channel and you guys want to subscribe, be sure to hit the subscribe button, join the Sewing Fam. I upload videos as often as I can. Um, let's see. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, remember that looking bad is an attitude, so you have to really own it. Um, but yeah, this is the basics of it, and let's get on to the video. So clearly, the glow down was very real right there, and you know, it takes a little bit of work to look bad it's just to make you feel your best when you are very comfortable and it's like a great look and it's always going to be a staple look this will never go out of style ever i swear to god first thing you got to get comfortable and this is probably the best part about this look is that you get to wear sweatshirts because sweatshirts are so cool you can literally wear any sweatshirt that you want i recommend for it to have a hood i think the hood is like a crucial part of it my favorite place to get sweatshirts are hand-me-downs if you want to buy sweatshirts forever 21 has great sweatshirts that are pretty inexpensive so this is just like a little rug rat sweatshirt like it does not matter what sweatshirt you wear this one's also cropped doesn't have to be cropped um literally just any sweatshirt that you have put it on this is like the best part of this look because you get to be comfortable and wear a sweatshirt and you still look super bad um we're gonna dress it all up in a little bit like do the uh, jewelry and stuff in a second. I always like to do that after my hair and makeup just because it really finishes off the look. So now we're going to get into the makeup. This isn't much of a makeup tutorial. I'm just sort of going to show you guys the makeup that I wear. How much makeup you wear though is totally up to you. Like if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, don't wear a lot of makeup. This is your look. Skin is super important though. So I would say like if you want to be like super, super quick with this, just throw on um, a good foundation, bronzer, highlight, do your brows, a little mascara, glossy lips, and that's all the makeup that you will need. I always just like to have darker eyeshadow on whenever I do simple looks like this because it just makes it look like I spent a little bit more time on it. Very important step, by the way, while you're getting ready is to listen to songs that pump you up and make you feel really freaking good about yourself. Lemon by Nerd right now is like my jam and a half. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. This is shade 20. In my last tutorial, I was like, oh, I lost shade 20 or that I gave it out to a friend. It was sitting on my desk the whole time. I think I did give it out to a friend, but I think I had multiple shades of it because here it is. And I'm very happy. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20, which matches a great deal better than 25 and 15 mixed together. Now I'm just setting my under eyes or anywhere that I put concealer with a little bit of powder just to mattify because no one likes creasy makeup, not a cute look. Bronzer, big step here. You want to make sure that your skin is getting bronzed and looking nice and tan and like you just got back from the tropics. You want to look a little exotic here. So this is going to be up for debate as to what's most important. I think glossy lips, hoops, and a fire watch is most important, but I know a lot of you guys are going to say highlights most important. It just depends on the person. So I do think a fire highlight is super important. So that's why I like this one by Laura Geller. It's in Gilded Honey. It's just the best. Like it's just so metallic and like it really just brings out your cheekbones and just Mm, yeah, like it's that it's like that Instagram glow that you see that everyone face tunes, but you don't have to face tune this. It's like on your face. Like it's just so good. I use an Anastasia A23. So I'm taking my Kat Von D shade and light palette and a MAC 224. And I'm just gonna take this shade in the middle here and use that um, as my transition shade in the crease of my eyes. Then I'm gonna take that same shade on a Sigma E25 blending brush and just throw that onto my lid and blend it up to my crease. Then I'm just gonna dip down one shade lower. This one's just like a little bit darker and that's just gonna go on the outer corner of my crease right here just to sort of 
you know, build dimension in there a little bit, just make it not so 1D. Then I'm just gonna bring this color along my lower lash line. Taking the black that's in the palette, I'm just gonna smudge this along my upper lash line. On my inner corner, I'm gonna take Floof by MAC, which is just like a icy, icy like pearly white. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of nylon for underneath my brow bone. Eyeliner, this is gonna go onto my waterline. I'm gonna put on some mascara real quick. I'm just using Benefit, they're real, and Too Faced Better Than Sex, and then I'll be right back. For lips, I love a good nude lip. It's like my favorite on me. So this is Myth by MAC. I just do like a little bit. And then I take Turkish Delight by NARS. Glossy lips are everything, okay? Everything. I have always been on the glossy wave. I was never really on the whole matte wave. I just... It's not a cute look on me. Like the glossy lips, I just need them. A good glossy lip will literally never go out of style. I'm turning on my straightener so I can straighten my hair. You can like curl your hair. You can do a sleeked back bun look. You can literally do whatever you want right here. Pretty sure you guys all know how to straighten hair, so I'm just going to skip over this because it's pretty boring to watch, but I'm just straightening my hair. What a difference your hair makes. Always do your hair. On to the most important parts of it. First off, uh, we'll start on the wrist because we'll start down here and we'll work our way up. So I always like to wear a watch. Um, I switch out my watches all the time, but I just got this one from Jord and it's really hot, so um, I'm going to wear this one today. And also, what's really cool about this is that I actually have a link down below for you guys. You guys can win one of these Jord watches as well. Um, they're really nice. They're really cool because they're like a wooden if you guys can see this It's a wooden watch. So that's super cool. They come in a bunch of different styles I always like big face watches just because that's the way that I work any watch will do. Oh, this one's super cool Look how hot this is. Okay, this is dope Get a watch any watch. This is what mine is and then the bracelets that I have, I don't know, they're just mantra band bracelets, but it doesn't matter. Always a watch. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check it out, leave a link down below. These, this is like a really nice watch. Looks fire. Okay, bring it, Jord. Like, come on, I'm here for it. Link down below if you guys want to check it out and browse the website and get one for yourself. It's Christmas time, and I think watches are the best presents ever, especially for boyfriends and stuff like that. My first boyfriend, I got him a watch, actually, for Christmas. So yeah, I guess the only time I've ever gotten a guy a gift, I got him a watch, so... I guess that says good things. And you can get like a his and hers. This is probably a his because it's so big, but I just really like big watches. So I'm wearing it as a hers. And I love rings. So I just have a bunch of like little stacking rings. This is just a Cartier ring that I wear every day. This is a Pandora ring. It's silver. I just put it on whatever. And then I just have like, go to like Tilly's or like H&M and just buy like a pack of all these like little small rings. You can just get them for like so, so cheap. I would just like to have rings. Like I really do like rings. I think they just make your fingers look better. Um, necklace, even though this is a sweatshirt, I think having like a dangly choker is always a hot look. It just makes it look like you actually put a little more effort into it. Choker on. Everyone always asks me where I get this from. I got this from Dynamite Clothing, but I got it in store uh, a while ago, so it's probably not there anymore, but like Etsy has a ton of these. I don't really know what you would type in, like dangly gold choker. The three things you have to remember here. Glossy lips, a fire watch, and hoops, okay? The bigger the hoop, the better, and I don't care if anyone says hoops are out of style. If anyone ever tells you that, you tell them that they're out of style because hoops are in, hoops are here to stay, and hoops are honestly just like the freaking wave, okay? Hoops are a way of life. And there you go. Then you just get all dressed up, and you literally just look like so bad. You look Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And really, go check out the link down below for Jord Watches. I just want to thank them again for sponsoring. Um, I love this watch, and I think it's super dope. And I want you guys to have one too. Then we can be twinsies, and that'd be really fun. So yeah, check the link down below. The contest ends November 26th, so you only have a couple of days left to enter it. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.